Coming to you on this Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. I'm Ryan Fahey with you here from Elk Grove TV, brought to you by 360scenes.com. Here today at Grove Junior High here in Elk Grove, Illinois, we have eighth grade boys basketball as the home team, the Grove Junior High Elks, welcome in their MCSL rival in the Friendship Firebirds. Let's take you now courtside for the introductions of both teams, tip-off, and our gameplay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Grove Junior High Gymnasium for today's eighth grade boys basketball match featuring the visiting Friendship Firebirds and your Grove Junior High Elks. Let's first meet the visitors, the Friendship Firebirds. Number 11, Cheyenne Farhan. Number 14, Colin Podgorski. Number 20, Amar Vucevic. Number 21, Marion Smith. Number 22, Mikhail Sidiku. Number 23, Artin Shakoli. Number 32, Chris Beauvoir. Number 35, Jake Pepsnick. Number 40, Trevor Detloff. And number 43, Gio Tullis. Those are the eighth grade Firebirds. It's now time to meet your team, the home team, your Grove Junior High Owls. Number 11, Jacob Balls. Number 12, Bradham Animovich. Number 13, Nolan Brand. Number 20, Abraham Mora. Number 24, Charlie Bates. Number 25, Michael Monta. Number 30, Carl Heitman. I think the battery may be going out on the, oh, there we go. Number 30, Carl Heitman. Number 32, Chase McCormick. And number 44, David Gretzky. Those are the eighth grade Elks. Well, sometimes a microphone can be your best friend and also your worst enemy. Nevertheless, though, we welcome you here on Elk Grove TV on this Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. I'm Ryan Fahey with you here inside Grove Junior High, the home of the Elks here in Elk Grove, Illinois. Of course, Rick Signorilla, Sean King, the best production camera duo out there. Having the pleasure to work with for all of our Grove Athletics events. An eighth grade boys basketball for you here this afternoon. The Firebirds of Friendship in their road blues, white trim, gray numbers, gray outlines along the numbers as well. Elks in the home whites with the green trim, white numbers, green outline along the numbers and letters as well. The five out on the floor to begin for the Firebirds. Geo Tullis at center court number 43. Firebirds are going right to left to start, Elks left to right. Cheyenne Farhan also out there. In addition, Jake Pepsnick, part of the starting five for the Firebirds. Mikhail Sidiqui, in addition, and Jake Pepsnick. And Marion Smith also out there. And for the Elks at the tip, it'll be David Gradsky to take it. And off we go on this Tuesday afternoon. Tip back one by the Elks. Controlled by Michael Montag as it's left off now for his teammate Carl Heitman. Nolan Brand also out there driving in the paint. Layup too strong. Fight for the rebound controlled by the Elks. Second chance opportunity here. Jacob Balms will also round off the starting five for the Elks. As with the left-hand dribble in the lane, that's picked up and stolen away. That's Pepsnick with the control. Also have the cheerleaders out here this afternoon along the baseline on the south end of the gym. Smith driving right side, trying to go off the glass, short, saved in, but it's right back to the Firebirds and Pepsnick, his shot was blocked back. Smith a reset over at the right wing. 
Farhan kicks to the left arc. The three ball is up, and that's off the front of the rim by Shakoli. And the rebound by Gradsky. One minute in, no score. As in the pin with a stutter step trying to get in on the lane. And that one is going to be saved in. Batted around still, controlled by the Elks. Heitman initially had it. But the Firebirds force another turnover. Couple of quality defensive stops from both teams early on. Shakoli at the top of the circle. Farhan looks to feed it in right side, but a whistle and a foul. That's going to go on Heitman. It'll be his first. Pepsnick was the recipient of that pass in at the right elbow. And there'll be a baseline inbound here for Friendship. 4.28 to play here in our opening quarter. No score. Smith has the handle off the inbound. Looks to get it into Pepsnick again. He'll muscle his way in off the glass too strong and the rebound to Gretzky. Heitman the other way in transition. Short on the layup off the left side. Ball still bats around. Controlled by the Elks once again. Brand swings to the right side and initially was going to get it right back, but that's going to be a over and back call as the pass to reset towards the top was a little too strong. Pepsnick Tim bounded half court. And the Firebirds are reset. Four minutes to go now in our opening quarter. Still no score. Smith almost lost it, then did in the end on a breakaway opportunity. Brand gets the opening bucket. A little miscommunication in the Firebirds backcourt led to the points off turnovers for the Elks to get our scoring started. Pepsnick spinning his way in the paint. Nice move, shot just a hair strong. And the rebound to Monta. He looks to throw it up ahead. Kept in by Brand initially. Ball still alive for a moment. And last touched as Balms was trying to keep possession alive. Had to go back to the Firebirds. Can the indoor Mask mandate still in effect here in the state of Illinois and here in Grove Junior High, of course. As this one, Pepsnick with a steal and then a whistle and a foul. I think that's going to be on Montag. He grabbed the arm of Pepsnick after the steal had occurred. So foul goes on Montag, the second team foul of the quarter. As Mikhail Sidiqui now out onto the floor along with Trevor Detloff for the Firebirds. No changes on the side for the Elks. And that one, Smith brought it up. Stolen away by Brand. But then Smith counters right back with a steal of his own. Seeing Brand and Smith be active defensively here early on in this first quarter of play. Seeing more of that as this one goes out towards the scorer's table on the far side of the floor. And the ball is out of bounds and a timeout to Friendship. They want to talk it over. We'll step aside as well. 2 nothing Elks, 2.46 to go in our first quarter. We'll be right back here on Elk Grove TV. Coming back in now off the Firebirds timeout. They trail 2-0 to the host Elks at 2.45 to go in our opening quarter. Makai Sidiqui with a kick out to Pepsky, who initially thought about a three. Almost lost the handle. Aggressive defense from Heitman on the right side. As it's now left off to Marion Smith with a crossover nicely at the right wing. Keep that on the highlight reel. Pepsnick bodying his way in, looking to spin into the paint falls down and because of that he ends up traveling and it'll be Elks ball with 2.17 to go in the first. Slew of changes now for the Elks. Catch up with them as we go along. Brandon Adamovich up on the floor along with Charlie Bates. 
Chase McCormick also into the game, along with Abraham Morrow. The only one that stayed out there was David Gradsky. Off the right side, shut off the glass, no good from Adamovich. As off the second chance opportunity, off the glass short on that was Bates. Gradsky picks it up again, muscling his way out to clear separation, but that's going to be a three-second call as he had nowhere to go. Trapped defense by the Firebirds. Here it's another turnover. Pepsnick now. Into the paint, trying to throw a shot. It was partially blocked by Gratsky. Good defense by the big man. 140 to go in our first quarter of action. Bates. Stops on the drive, guarded by Smith, gives it right back. Morris three ball is up, it rattles on home. The first three of the game, courtesy of Abraham Mora. Five nothing Elks, 123 now to play in the first. Sidikwe at the right arc. We've been looking for Pepsnick a lot early on in this quarter. Uh, Sidikwe with a nice extra pass. Just a hair off on the shot attempt was Trevor Detloff. And the rebound controlled by Gratsky and the Elks. Minutes to go in the first. Bates off the screen. Bates shot up, falling down, no. And the rebound to Pepsnick. Pepsnick with the hesitation. High arcing three is no good. Ball still alive and out of bounds. Sean King does not have the basketball handles along with the camera courtside. And the possession will go to the Elks as Amar Vukovic comes back into the ballgame along with Gio Tullis as Pepsnick and Smith will take a seat. 5 nothing Elks here in quarter number one. Adamovich left lane drive off the glass and rolls on home. 7 nothing Elks. Twenty seconds to play. Bates got tripped up trying to go on a breakaway for a steal. As this goes up into the front court now, faking the three, waiting patiently, then shooting is Colin Podgorski, but he was too strong on the shot. Ball still alive. Six seconds to play. Up ahead, the countdown is on. Bates is going to throw it from half court, and that one just a hair short. But a strong end of the first quarter from the host Elks, shutting out to the Firebirds in quarter one. 7-0 our score. We go to quarter number two next here on Elk Road TV. Setting off for quarter number two. That's a shutout early on here by the Elk. 7-0 our score as we begin the second quarter. I'm Ryan Fay with you here on Elk Grove TV. Of course, the best guys in the business behind the scenes, Rick Signorilla, Sean King with the production and camera work as Pepsnick circling around counterclockwise into the paint and off the glass for the first bucket for the Firebirds today. Bates now with the baseline pass. Extra skip now to Mora, his jumper too strong. And the rebound to Vukovic. Now he drives the other way. Faces a double team inside, and a jump ball is going to be called, and the arrow is going to go to Grove. Good transition defense by the Elks on that one, on the speed there up into the front court by Vukovic off the initial miss by Mora on the previous possession. As Bates turns it into a third gear, shot up off the side of the backboard. Manages to get it back to Mora. Adamovich will reset at the right arc. 5.08 to go in the first half. Driving, and you can count the basket as well, plus the foul. He is pumped up about that one. He'll go to the line for the end one. A 9-2 score in favor of the Elks. And we said this on our last Grove broadcast. It's so good to be back. May still be with masks on, but... Either way, good to getting back to live sports, seeing the kids with the smiles on their faces and just kind of getting things back to some sense of normalcy as the end one is good. 10-2 now our score, an eight-point lead for the Elks. And another tie-up jump ball. Arrow's going to stay with friendship.
The baseline inbound, Sidiqui will have that responsibility. They look to feed it in to Tullis, but that doesn't work, and it's taken away by Bates. Bates being aggressive defensively here in this first half. Adamovich traveled. Tried to kind of skip his way into the paint, but to no avail in the end. As Marion Smith will be set to check in at the next whistle for the Firebirds. Farhan to the left arc now for Sidiqui. Lugovic. Pepsnik, who had a lot of possession of the ball for his Firebirds offense in that first quarter, gets the screen into the paint. Shimmies around a defender, but the shot was partially blocked by Bates. And now here comes Heitman the other way. Skips, finds Adamovich, inside, shot up, no, short. But a foul on Sidiqui. And Adamovich, who made the end one a moment ago, now has two free throws coming up. And a 10-2 lead for his team with 4.15 to go in our second quarter. First one is good. Smith now back in. As he'll replace Pepsnik, and also into the game is Artin Shakoli, as Jake Pepsnik will take a seat. As I mentioned, he came out along with Vukovic. So an 11 2 score, and Smith immediately coming off the bench and making the impact with a nice layup. Four minutes now to play in our first half. Right corner, Moore, wide open, takes a step in, but short on the shot. And the rebound to Shikoli. And that one, Bates gets another steal. Oh, Moore was wide open in the paint, shot up is still good, and the foul. It was a last second pass from Bates, didn't see Moore was that wide open inside. Just got it there in the nick of time. Moore puts up a tough shot. Gets the foul and one. Chance for a double-digit lead now for the Elks. The first one this afternoon. If he makes it, and he banks it home. 14-4. Cheyenne Farhan now into the front court. Firebirds are going to look for some sort of spark. They had it from Smith on the last possession as he came off the bench about 10 seconds prior. He drives baseline, too strong on this shot. Oh, and a block from behind by Bates as Tullis had the offensive rebound, but he had no chance to have a putback opportunity as Trevor Detloff comes back in. Tullis takes a seat, and a whole new squad of Elks out onto the floor. David Gratsky out there, along with Nolan Brand. Jacob Balms also checks into the game as well, and along with Michael Montag. So the original starting fire for the Elks back out onto the floor. And this one trying to fight for it is Gratsky. He gets the steal. Balms now ahead, shot up too strong. And the rebound controlled by Shikoli. Smith ahead as he left it off for Farhan. And that going to stay with the Firebirds to hit off the foot of Bombs as we're essentially halfway through our first, or it's just the second quarter as there was a whistle and a foul on a reach in. And as Podgorski now is going to step out onto the floor, Farhan will take a seat. And <laughs> even Gretzky thought it was his team's ball. A little confusion out on the floor. A baseline inbound for the Firebirds down by 10, 14 to 4. Good pass in, but not able to handle it as Podgorski, but the ball will stay here. It was last touched by the Elks. Gratsky tried to get in there and create a turnover. Not a lot of movement initially off the couple seconds. Ball is going to dribble out, and it'll stay here once again. And it looks like the Firebirds will call another timeout. 
And we'll step aside as well. It's been all Elk so far in this first half. 14-4 our score. We'll be right back here on Elk Grove TV. Power by 360scene.com. As we're coming off the timeout, there's a 30-second timeout called by the Firebirds. Smith tries to answer with a three. Off the timeout, offensive rebound to Sidiqui. Still fighting for it, and then a whistle, and they're going to call actually a foul, reaching over by Gradsky. So it'll still be the Firebirds ball, another baseline inbound for them. 2.49 to go in our first half. Bounce pass in, good feed as that one found Shakoli. Having trouble though, and a jump ball is called. Elks possession. Brand will bring it up to the front court. Almost carried that as he was looking ahead it up the floor. Gets it, kicks out, shot up. Shot off the back iron by Bombs, no good. Ball still loose and hopping over a chair there was Montag. The ball will stay with Grove. Bombs off the inbound, poked away momentarily. And a whistle, and they're going to get the foul on Gratsky. There have been opportunities here in this second quarter for the Firebirds to carry some momentum, but just have not been able to turn it into a lot of points so far early on. Shakoli on the baseline, no shot can be put up. He's trapped in there, still forcing one up. And he tried to step his way through it. He stepped his way from a double team to a triple team and ended up traveling. Approaching two minutes to go in the second. Left corner, long two was up and missed. Off the hands of Montag. Here comes Sidiqui the other way, looks to feed it in, finds Shakoli. Had a lane if he wanted to maybe put up the shot. But a whistle and a foul. Ball starting to rack up a little bit here in the second quarter against the Elks. They've been aggressive trying to get the steal, and they almost get one there. Let me know if I've said this before. Baseline inbound for the Firebirds. Oh, and a good feed in. Bit of a breakdown defensively by the Elks. And Shakoli gets a much needed bucket. Cuts the deficit to eight. Oh, and slipping there on that one is Brand. Here comes Smith in transition. Too strong on the layup. Gretzky the rebound. And the foul's going to get called on Smith. Bonus in effect here as well for the Firebirds as Jake Pepsnick will get set to come in in just a moment at the next whistle. Balms off a nice screen from Gratsky, makes it in 4-2, back to a double-digit lead. 16-6, with a minute 15 to play in the first half. Smith right side, crossover, step back, three ball, high arcy one too strong, and the rebound to Gratsky. High pass ahead, wide open inside, taking a tumble, it doesn't matter for Montag. It's 18 to six. Smith now with 50. Good bounce feed in, was looking for his teammate in Sidiqui in a tie up, and the jump ball arrow's gonna go to the Firebirds. Pepsnik now out onto the floor. Vukovic also out there along with Podorski as Farhan and Detloff take a seat. Along with Sidiqui. And off the inbound, Gretzky had it, but Smith quickly recovered. Pepsnik into the paint shot. Short gets his own miss, blocked back by Gretzky. And here come the Elks in transition. It's Balms, almost lost the handle. 
The Oaks will settle it down with 25 to go. Adamovich, left side drive, too strong. And ball still loose, Gradsky's got it. And he traveled. 18 to six, Elks lead, 16 seconds to play in our first half. Smith may try to hold for the final shot and he collides with an aggressive Nolan Brand trying to create a steal with 11 seconds now to go. And with that foul actually on Brand, it's gonna be the one and one. I mentioned earlier the bonus was in effect for the Firebirds, so Smith will be at the line here actually. And just to refresh on the one and one, he makes the first, he'll get a second. If he misses, it's a live ball. Smith just goes right for the shot, doesn't even dribble, hits back, iron ball live again. Smith does get his own miss though. Ball still loose on the floor and another tie up. And the possession arrow is gonna go to Grove with six seconds to play in our first half. Adamovich will inbound. What's going to be drawn up here? It's Balms. Lost it initially. Turnover. Pogorski at the horn. No. And that'll do it for a first half of play, but an impressive first half performance by the Elks. A 12 point lead going into halftime. It's 18 to 6. Grove. We got second half action coming for you in just a little bit here on Elk Grove TV, powered by 360scenes.com. We'll be back in a bit. Now for our second half action, our score at 18 to six in favor of the host Elks. Ryan Fay with you on Elk Grove TV, powered by 360scenes.com. It'll be the Elks ball to begin our third quarter of play. Or excuse me, Firebirds basketball. They'll be going left to right now on your screen. Elks will be right to left, and off we go for second half action. Well, almost an error pass as it finds Smith. Driving left side, aggressively almost got the friendly roll, and Gratsky secures the board. Gratsky, oh, he wanted the three, he <laughs> even smiled about it, but he deferred to his teammate in Brand, whose shot was in and out. And the rebound to Shikoli. Podgorski left side, stops for Tullis. Now it's Smith at the top. Smith, step back, long, two off the glass, no. The rebound to Podgorski. He is wrestled to the ground. Jump ball is called and the arrow will go to friendship. Strong move there. A nice effort, give credit there, Carl Heitman, number 30. 
As quickly ahead now, and running into his own teammate was Bran trying to set the screen was Gratsky. Bran resets, finally gets that screen he was looking for, guarded by Smith. As Heitman for the long two, rainbow shot, no, and Smith the rebound, and he'll push the floor. Smith all alone, Euro step, too strong, and the rebound to Heitman. Brand, ooh, a nice feed for Gratsky who scores softly off the back of the rim. 20 to six. Tullis near the top facing a double team. Jump ball and the arrow will stay with friendship. The trap created and made effective by Nolan Brand. In now for Smith, and a, well the buzzer went off for a random reason. I'm not sure why, looks like we're just gonna redo the inbound. I know Sean's good with our camera, but I don't think he should be pressing the scoreboard buttons. As the shot from Smith is no good, players are tumbling now. And we get a whistle and a foul. They're gonna get that on Pepsnick for the tie up. Montag comes up a little limping there with his right leg favored. Looks like he's going to try to shake it off, but he'll go to the bench to do that as Chase McCormick now will come onto the floor. Brand off the inbound. Nice move in for two. 22 to six. But Gorski facing tight defense from Balms. And a whistle, and Balms got a little too aggressive there. As Chris Beauvoir and Trevor Detloff now out and enter the floor. Tullis and Tricoli will go take a seat. Trying to dribble through defenders was Podgorski. Detloff takes control. Beauvoir on the baseline, has to circle it back. As Stuck in the left corner was Podgorski. Beauvoir gets it now right back. And Pepsnick resets at the top. Jump pass in, nobody home and out of bounds. Elks ball. Just not a lot of consistent flow offensively for friendship so far as that pass Almost thrown out of bounds and away. Recovered by a Heitmans, whose three was too strong. And Pepsnick has the rebound out of it. Halfway through the third, 22 to six, Grove. Pepsnick, tough shot in. And the offensive board to Pogorski facing a double team. Pepsnick gets it now back in at the right elbow. Sneaks it away, shot up, kind of a wild shot there from Detloff. Hits all glass, no iron. And the Elks now the other way. Balms. Off for Heitman. Left-handed floater is no good. Gratsky's offensive rebound. And put back is good. An 18-point lead for the host Elks. 24 to 6, 225 to play in the third. Beauvoir, first three attempt of the day. Trying to bank it home. Misses. And a whistle and a tie-up. Jump ball is called. And the arrow will go to Grove. As a new slate of players check in for both sides. I'll look to update that as best as I can. We'll start with the Firebirds. Farhan back out there. Beauvoir stays in along with Pepsnick. Detloff on the floor in addition to Isidiqui. Seeing his action for the first time in this third quarter. And for the Elks, Bates... He just checked in. He just missed that shot. Abraham Moore back out on the floor. Chase McCormick also checking in once again. And also Brennan Adamovich. Pepsnick's three was short. Ball is out of bounds. And it'll be Elks ball with a minute 53 to play in the third. 